Hello everyone, it's JoshyAg56 here and you're watching the first part of the Toadstool64 tutorial. In this first part, I would like to give you an introduction to Toadstool64 and also discuss some of the limitations Toadstool64 has. If you already know all of this, you can skip to the second part, but otherwise, let's get into it. Alright, first thing is first, what is Toadstool64? Well, it's basically a level editor that allows you to replace, rotate and reposition objects, basically. There's also some other stuff which allows you to change the music of a level, edit some textures and all of that good jazz. But also there are some limitations where people are mostly not aware of that Toadstool64 can't do. And those are that you are not able to edit the terrain itself. So you can't flatten hills or add walls somewhere. You can also not add objects. So you can only change objects that are already in the game into other objects. You can't just add more objects than the current level already has. So if the level has, for example, 24 objects, you can only use 24 objects in that level. Also, you're really limited in what objects you can use. You have to see that for yourself in what the objects are that you can use for that specific level because it varies. For example, you're not able to put Bowser on the top of the castle. And you can also not make levels from scratch, so you have to work with existing levels. The last limitation is that some textures can't be edited with Toadstool64 itself, but I will show you a way you can do that with another program in this series. So if you're fine with those conditions and you want to have some fun editing your Super Mario 64 game, then continue on with this series. This was the first episode, hope this was helpful and then I hope to see you in the second episode where we are going to download everything and show you what all of the tools are that you might or might not need. Alright, so that has been it for this video, hope to see you in the next one, bye bye.